go home, go hard, go hard, go home, go hard, go hard, go home. Sixers, this week and this week only, we're giving away these exclusive number six with cheese logo pumpkin stickers to people that buy stuff off the website. Any of the merch that's on there, place an order, and the first so many people, we're only about so many of them, you'll find out if you get one in a separate envelope, you're gonna get this sticker. Check it out, dude. Shout out to Halloween and pumpkins, you know? And then today, we're headed to a six corner here in Chicago, the corner of Halstead, Milwaukee, and Grand. There's Mayar Tavern. Right across the street from Piccolo Sonio, chef there was looking at this disgusting building and he said, I'ma buy it and make it a burger joint. So today, two $24 city slicker burgers with foie gras. Excited? <laughs> yeah, yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right, Sixers, two city slickers, Mayar Tavern, acquired, jump cut. I hit the acquired harder on that one. <laughs> oh, duck fat fries, bro. Mm. Are they great? They're pretty good. All right, this is a big one. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, open it up, see what we got. Ooh, good looking bun. And whoa. So you're seeing, this is the, Foie gras, or however you say it. We got bacon. There's some sort of sauce up on this bun. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Black truffle pesto. Mm, man, it's just like covered in cheese, and I don't know how to, how safe. So hard to so. show it. Yeah, maybe if we get it out of there for the thumbnail, we can show that angle. Yeah, just like a lot of bacon, onions, cheese, and foie gras. Looking good, though. Yeah, and then a foie gras mayo. As if the foie gras wasn't enough, blend it up and put it on as a mayo too. And then crispy prosciutto. Mm. Wow. Oh, I made an actual cow noise on accident there. Mm. <laughs> Take him out to pasture. This guy's hungry. Mm. 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 All right, guys. $24 burger and fries from Myar Tavern. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <sighs> Mm, mm. A lot of unique flavors. Truffle instantly. Mm-hmm. Mm. The very first thing was truffle. And I'm not mad about it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're right. There's like six different things going on. It's definitely one of the most unique burgers I've had. Yeah, absolutely. It's not a flavor profile I've had with any other burgers. No. God, I just want to keep showing you guys because this is just one of the more unique ones we've ever had. Swiss cheese, but then that's about the only normal thing on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, this is really good. Because like truffle's so unique, and then it's got a sweetness to it as well, and then just that the meat's really good. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's all the onions. It's good. Yeah, caramelized onions on there. The foie gras is so good. Mm-mm. -hmm, mm -hmm. That's as like royalty burger as you can make. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is so rich. Wow. That is so much flavor. It's like six courses in one meal. It really, it tastes like it's like, they went, what if we just gave you everything? A couple appetizers, an entree, we'll throw it all in. Right. Ooh. That's really good. Wow, dude. I will say though, I still, I was wondering if this is gonna take the throne as like my favorite burger in the city. Yeah. And it has not. No, I don't think it's my, my favorite. It's got one of the most unique profiles though. Mm -hmm. It's like so different than anything I've had. I like it's like uniqueness and whatever's making it so different. Oh, that's cool. That's gotta be the black truffle pesto. Oh yeah. That's the bottom of the burger. That's the bottom of the burger. The bun, sorry. I like the uniqueness of it, but in terms of like overall flavor profile, I've had ones that I think are tastier, mm -hmm. but I like that this is like a unique experience that I've never had and might not ever have again. Right, it looked like their best seller was the just the Maillard, which was, is bacon and onion jam and Dijon mayo, which that's just like their kind of go-to. We went for the big dog today. Yeah, I had to. Let me try those fries. Yeah, and then these are duck fat fries. Amazing. Nice and crispy. If uh, human fat tastes like duck fat, I might have to come over to the uh, Dahmer side of the fence. I'm just like anybody else. Here's some duck fat fries. Those little crispy edges. Mm. 
This was fun to try because I would never have gotten that burger at that place. No. I would look at the price tag and go, all right, well, I'm going to start a little simpler to yep. start. I kind of like that we just went to the nth degree of the burger world. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'm wondering if I like might like better some of the other more simple ones. Mm -hmm. Because although I love foie gras or however you say that, faux grass. Faux grass. This, the flavor on it was so strong here. Mm -hmm. It was almost a little overpowering. So this is definitely outside of my comfort zone, but this is why the show's so fun. I wouldn't, like we said, we wouldn't have gotten this. I bet that's going to balance it out so good. That's what I'm kind of wondering. I think six Actually, or sauce. I want one bite with like. Yeah, here you go. So I bet that'll just add that little bit to balance out the foie gras. Yeah, I'm going to wait to take a bite with you. We a team. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. You made it better. Oh, it did. Need a little bit of hot sauce. Mm. Oh my god, it really did. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you that if you made that burger and gave it to somebody and then made that same burger and told them it was a different burger and just put the Sixer sauce on it, they'd pick that one every time. Yeah. And no disrespect, we just made the perfect hot sauce. No big deal. I'm really happy that worked. That worked out very well. Have this on hand when you get their burger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which you can do you easily. Can. Throw it in the glove compartment, be a happy eater. Take home this cup of pickles for Lionel. There you go. Can you imagine? Here you go. Couple pickles. Merch out of merch out of merch out of. I'm currently wearing a shirt. And I got the Sunny G's at the ready as well. Number six with cheese.com is our website to support the show so we can go around this city, stomp around, and eat all the best stuff. You buy stuff, you help the show. And on the show, we always say names of people that buy off the website. If you buy the subscription service of the hot sauce where you get it every single month, we say your name ASAP. But today, two names. Merch out of number one goes to Mr. Lucas Seabay. <laughs> Lucas, we sent you three bottles of citrus sauce. I hope you loved it. I hope you thought it was tasty. We sent that to Waverly, Minnesota. Yeah, hope you enjoyed that and you're a gentleman. And merch shot at number two goes to Mr. Matthew Romano. <laughs> we shot those due east to Pennsylvania. Three bottles of citrus sauce. And that's kind of not true because Chef Iron Mike sends them from Florida. So that was due north. north. <laughs> so however you like maps and geography, you know, figure it out yourself. Don't forget the number six with cheese pumpkin logo sticker available only this week when you buy merch off the website. Website, uh, number six with cheese.com buy off the website that's six or six I didn't want to go into this review thinking a uh, world-class burger needed six or sauce but it didn't it make did. it worse yeah all right moment of truth we've had a lot of burgers on the show a lot of top-notch burgers time to rate out of five ducks from Aflac commercials how many ducks from the Aflac commercials do you give the city slicker $24 burger and fry combo Corey Always getting attention. Might have been a case of me going into it too high of expectations, but I really expected that to be next level great. And really, although I thought it was good, like I quit eating it pretty quickly mm -hmm. because the flavor was almost too much for me. Yeah, it's Tur a lot. Yeah, it turns out I don't want that much foie gras on a burger, I don't think. Mm. Uh, I still thought it was Still obviously a good burger. Yeah. Um, I probably wouldn't pay that price. I think I'd rather try some of their other stuff. But yeah, it's uh, it's a good burger, just way overpriced and a little too much power in the flavor for my flavor palette. So I'm gonna give that 3.25. I'm starting to realize, having done a lot of truffle things, that truffle is a lot like cilantro to me. It's like a, a flavor that you like really, really enjoy, or it's kind of like, and I also will say, and I don't know if your mouth was picking this up mm -hmm. the way mine was, I don't think I picked up damn near any truffle. Whoa, mine was like entirely truffle. I'm wondering if what you're thinking was truffle was foie gras, because I have had I a tasted lot that of too, truffle. Though. And I feel like if that was more, if that was truffle based, because I mean, my favorite hot sauce is truff. literally truff. Yeah. That was almost, I was getting overpowered with foie gras. So. You might have been tasting foie gras and thinking it was truffle. I don't think so because I know truff and I know I know truffle and I know foie gras really well. Like I tasted the foie gras, but like I thought that was a really good amount. I tasted an abundance of truffle. Like I love that foie gras taste. That's so like a good accent to beef. Mm -hmm. Like standing by itself, I think it needs a partner. Where truffle can like really kind of take over. So interesting. Mm -hmm. Score wise, uh, I'm thinking 3.75. That is a very good burger, but I, it's tough to tout a $24 price tag when I think maybe personally I would have even liked like the original one better. Yeah, I bet you one of the original ones. Something about that $25 one, although fancies it up, mm -hmm. it makes it like a burger of the kings. And I know foie gras is expensive. It's like, expensive. It's even I think even on the menu says an ounce and a half. So yeah. to let you know, like we're paying market value for this foie gras. Right. 
So, but overall, I mean, a great burger spot. We're starting to really rack up the, the places that mm -hmm. are like next level, you know? Yeah, I think the Bills were like one of the other ones better. Whether it was a truffle or a foie gras, mm -hmm. there was a little too much of something. Yeah. But I bet they're gonna be a little better balanced on some of those other ones just by looking at the ingredients. Yeah, that El Jefe jumped out to me too with the jalapenos and the um, fried egg on it. Mm -hmm. That seemed kind of cool, so. But I'm glad we tried this one. Me too. I mean, that's that's what the show allows us to do, is to try stuff otherwise we wouldn't have, you know? Mm -hmm. This is fun, so. Uh, let us know if you guys have had my art Tavern. I love, just real quick shout out to this little six corner. This is my most underrated favorite intersection in Chicago. I love Emmett's, I love Richard's, I love Clover, I love the Dawson. It's right off the train line. I love this area. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video on this channel. Tomorrow, back to the fast food world, Sonic's garlic butter bacon burger. Try that out, little smaller price tag, maybe. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys then. Thank you so much, get the sticker. Bye. I'd gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today.